Pay attention, peoples. This week has been an unusually racist week for me because there's not been one day that has gone by without me having to explain what halal meetings is. But let's establish some facts from some fictions. Number one, Muslims don't kick chickens in the face before they slaughter them. There is a very specific process. And I suggest you try to ask a Muslim yourself instead of going to the Google issues. Number two, it is definitely not true that the Taliban have purchased shares in Subway and plan to open up their first store in a cave in Kabul. Number three, it is definitely not true that some local Muslims kidnap pigs and hit them in the mosque car park because they wanted to force Subway not to sell beckons anymore. Number four, to the gentleman that was sitting on the number 20 bus just in front of me with his pal Dave, I will give you an impression of what he had to say for himself. Dave, you'll never guess what fella. I heard that this halal meat has got a special gene in it. An extremist gene. And if you eat enough of this halal meat, it gets into your bloodstream. And we all know what happens in your bloodstream. Flows up to your brain. And before you know it, you're on a pirate ship with a bunch of Somalians fighting Tom Hanks. Stay away from it, brother. Stay away from it. No, 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 no. Mr. Number 20 bus man. That is not true either. I make one suggestion. Stop reading the sun. Stop reading the stupid Googleations. And try to listen to people like the Russell Brands. He's a very clever man. Please. Fact from fiction. Truth from the lyings. Don't be a bunch of uneducated bumba clottings. I am signing out to have my halal water. Take care. Bye-bye.